welcome to today's video. So I just moved to a new house and with that comes a lot of getting new things for your house. So today I really wanted to test out some things from Shein because they have a lot of like kitchen stuff. They don't have a ton of home stuff, but I saw Mia Maple's video about bedding and I was looking for bedding, so I wanted to order some bedding. But they have this thing where if you add it to your cart, then you get free shipping like a lot of websites. So I wanted to spend a little bit extra and get some things that I needed for my kitchen as well. So today I have five things for your kitchen that I just got in the mail and I some of them I've been using, some of them I haven't, but I wanted to talk to you about them and whether or not you should get them too. I actually placed my order all on one day, but I actually got the packages in two separate packages. So the first package I got, got here in like two days really fast. I don't know if it came from like a Los Angeles warehouse or what, but I got it really quickly and I've been obsessed with it. Okay, so this is the first thing I got and it's just a little spice organizer. Now it, there's six of these things and they're pretty good size for spices. And you can just put this into your cabinet and have them all ready to go. You just push this right here and then you can spill it out and it's really easy to close. Now you could have them all freestanding. However, it comes with this little tray here to hold them all. And I really like this because I've seen some spice organizers in like Marshalls and stuff. However, they're very small, so it wouldn't hold much of your spices. So I like how full, like this is the entire can of oregano I had. I also like how colorful they are so you know which is which. I mean, you can label them too, but you can also just remember which color is which spice. And so I just put this in my cabinet and it's really easy to grab. But I think this is a super great organizational tool for your home and your kitchen. You could also probably use this for other areas of your house, but I really liked it for spices and I think that's what it's meant for. So this one was, I loved how fast I got this and I also love the quality. I'm very happy with it. The next thing is that I really wanted new oven mitts and it's kind of hard to find cute oven mitts. Usually they're like the cotton ones and they're very bulky and they're not the cutest. So I was looking everywhere. Usually for this type of kitchen stuff, I usually go to Marshalls or to Ross or TJ Maxx, something like that. And I was not finding any that I liked. Same with dish towels. I was just having a really hard time. And so I found some that I thought would be really cute on Shein. And here they are. Okay, so I really like these because they are like this silicone material. I love the color pink that they are and I have been using them since they came and it's like so convenient you just slide them on I like how they fit on the hand and you just take your pan out of the oven they are not bulky they are really easy to store in your drawers and I've just really really liked them they also come with that little hole there so if you wanted to you could put a hook on them and hang them from your cabinets but I've just been obsessed with these and I think that they're way better than all of the other oven mitts I've used. They also have this non-slip grip on them. So this one also is a check. I definitely recommend getting these. They're really affordable, really stylish, and they work really, really well. The next thing is if you listen to my podcast, then you may know that I'm really into being sustainable and I'm definitely far from perfect. But over the past year, I've just been making small changes in my life wherever I can. But I haven't yet found reusable Ziplocs that I really like. So I thought that I would order some different options because one, on Amazon, they're not that inexpensive. And two, I saw some on Shein that I thought were really cute. So we're gonna give those a shot. So the first pack I ordered are these little mason jars. It comes in two sizes. It comes in with six bags, three of each size. And I thought that these were a really cute design. So basically it works just like a Ziploc. You just open it and you put whatever you need in there. Now, this is a pretty small opening. I'd say it's maybe the size of like a snack bag, you know, normal Ziploc snack bag, but they do feel really good quality. They do feel very similar to a regular plastic bag, just like a thicker material. I think that they would be pretty easy to use. I haven't really tried them out yet. 
I'd say this is probably equivalent to a sandwich bag, but the, it's just like more rectangular than a sandwich bag is, so I don't think a sandwich would actually fit in here, but these are really meant for putting a half of an avocado or a lemon in there to store in the fridge, or maybe take, giving these to your kids to take with them to put like goldfish in, things like that, but you're not really storing big things in here, but I do like them. Now I also ordered this pack here. It, these ones look like, I guess, a glass of water. I don't know. It says, simple things, time to make the magic happen on one side. And then it says, lock fresh, fresh food on the other side. So these are all the same on the front, but they all have different patterns on the back which they're see-through so you can see what's inside of them, but this is really good, let's say, if you have multiple kids. You can assign them each a pattern so they know which is for them. And I'm hoping that these are a little bit bigger. So I would say that this opening is much bigger than this one, and it just seems to, like the, the actual storage size seems to be much bigger on this one. So I kind of wanted three different sizes. Now on all of them, I feel like the seal is very legit. And they're all very thin, so they're great for storage and great to reuse. So I definitely recommend both of these. I think that it's a great way to try to go away from the single plastic and just reuse. So those are both a yes in my book. Now, something else that I was very excited about was a storage shelf for the refrigerator because even though I have the like obviously the shelves and the two drawers on the bottom you could always use more storage especially when you have three people and roommates we all have our own stuff in the fridge or if you have like lots of kids or a big family then a drawer an extra drawer will always be useful so that brings me to this now online I saw this and I'm like ooh, a pink drawer for my refrigerator like a must that sounds so great well it's not a drawer <laughs> So, and it's also much smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like the entire length of the refrigerator shelves, but it's very small. I don't really mind that it's so small. It's kind of a disappointment, but I like be willing to look past that. However, when you actually put this onto the shelf, there's not really much that can fit in this small of a shelf. I mean, maybe like some cheese, like, for your sandwiches or like I mean this this thing wouldn't even fit in here when you have a drawer this small there's really not much you can put in it so okay moving on let's say I can find some small things in my fridge that I could put in here well it's not a drawer so so this is like the mechanism that I guess you're supposed to like slide like that onto your fridge shelf which, okay, you do that, but then this doesn't pull out. So you have to pull this on and off. I don't know, I, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to use this, but I just don't think that this is really worth it. It's definitely not up to my expectations or what I really wanted or what I thought that I was ordering. Maybe that was on me for misreading, but I just don't think it's really useful. I don't really know what you put in here even if it did work just because it's so small and there's also these holes in here which I don't really know why like it would just leak if there's anything in here I don't know so this one I'm gonna have to say is a pass I would not recommend this but you know maybe if you have bought this and you know how to use this like please leave in the comments so I could try to figure it out but it's just not it's not it for me Okay, so I just went to go grab the last product, and when I was looking in my fridge, I found some small things before I wrap this video up. I wanted to just see if there's anything in my fridge that could fit. So within my little shelf, I found that like a small thing of like pico de gallo or salsa could fit, um, but that was it. Like it would just fit perfectly. Or I found these little sauces. So I have these like, I don't know, from sushi, extra sa sauces from different times we've eaten out that people have kept. Here's some wasabi. So you, like this here, like this stack of two is too tall. Um, so I can really only fit three in here. 
Um, now, they are slots, so if they were to spill, it would be really nice if this caught it, but it would not. Um, and I just put this back in my fridge again. Now, here's what I also found. If this just slid on, I think it could be cool because, like, cool, you have a little place to put sauces or, like, the small things that you don't want just floating around your refrigerator. However, instead of just, like, sliding in like so, these go way up like this. I don't know why exactly, but um, when you put it in, it just, like, goes up. So you're not actually saving any space because now you can't use, like, the, t the part of the shelf where these are sitting on, if that made any sense. So it's just taking up shelf space for not a lot of help. I don't know, I, I just really poorly constructed. It's a pretty cheap plastic. This is like something that you would maybe find in the like $1 section of Target, but like it's not even that. It's not even there, like Target wouldn't even sell it. So yeah, this is just, I mean, I really wanted this to work. The other thing I found is if it's sitting on a shelf like this, this shelf underneath, it's so much harder to see back here because now this is like hanging down and blocking your view. So I really wanted to like it, but it just was a no for me. Moving on to the last thing in your kitchen that I got from Shein is this thing. So this I have tried out as well. It's kind of like, it looks like a pink doily. I love the color. So you guys can see this really pretty lace detail here. I love the color, it matches my little gloves so well. And basically what this does is it's kind of like a beeswax wrap, which is also a really great way to switch from a single use plastic or like the saran wrap, get rid of that, and go to beeswax wraps. Well, this is not made of beeswax, but I think it's like a silicone and it's supposed to be pretty sticky. So let's say I made a concoction and I wanted to use this bowl here. So all you do is you just lay it on top, make sure it's nice and flat, and then once you have it like so, you just push it down to the sides. And honestly, I think it works really well. I think it's so cute. It's not perfect. It does like allow maybe a little bit of air, but I think that it's worth the money. I think that I will definitely be using this. I'm pretty happy with it. I love the color and I love how easy it is to reuse. So it's not exactly like cling wrap, but I think that it's worth, worth it. <laughs> I think the size is perfect and I'm really happy with it. So those are the things that I ordered from Shein for my kitchen. A little effort to be a little bit more sustainable and get away from single use plastic and just be organized, have a pretty aesthetically pleasing kitchen. So if you guys wanna see more of me testing out Shein products or home videos or anything like that, leave in the comments what you wanna see. If you liked this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more of me and turn on those bell icons because you want to get notified every time I post, duh. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye!